The Renault Clio has been a firm favourite among UK car buyers ever since it was first introduced way back in 1990. This fourth generation car was facelifted in 2016 and aims to tempt buyers away from the likes of the Volkswagen Polo, Seat Ibiza and Ford Fiesta with its blend of generous specification and some smart looks. The interior of the Clio is a very nice place in which to sit although it is getting on a bit in years now and some of its rivals feel more cutting edge in areas like design, material quality and features. It also doesn't have some of the newer safety technologies available on the market. Having said that, all models get a very reasonable level of kit, including a DAB radio and cruise control. This is our preferred trim level, the Dynamic S Nav, which strikes the best balance of price and equipment. It's got keyless entry and start, 17-inch alloy wheels, full LED headlights, which are really bright, and sat-nav, although, if we're honest, we've not got on really well with the media nav infotainment system, especially when it comes to streaming content from our phones. There's no Apple CarPlay either, which is something that many of its rivals can offer. Still, the driving position is very good and there's reasonable space in the back for two adults or three children, with two Isofix child seat mounting points in the back as well. Boot space? Not bad compared to the competition and the rear seats fold down in a 60-40 split on all versions. Clio's biggest strength is that it's engaging to drive no matter what version you have. The steering has good weight to it, it's nimble around town and it feels solid on the motorway. But that doesn't come at the expense of comfort. The ride is smooth and it'll filter out the worst imperfections on the road. There are a range of petrol and diesel engines and they're all pretty good. Which one you prefer will depend on whether you value fuel economy over power or vice versa. Honestly though, all of them tread that balance pretty well. This is a TCE 120 petrol engine and it's got plenty of fizz. We'd stick with the manual gearboxes though because the automatics aren't very smooth and not very quick either. The Renault Clio then is a good car, but its problem is that there are several other rivals in this small hatchback segment that are just as good, if not better. Most notably, the latest Ford Fiesta is much newer, even more fun to drive and more efficient too. With that in mind, you would have to really want to buy specifically a Clio in order to justify getting one.